In addition to R documents, there's another type of R file called an R markdown document. You'll notice that it has the file extension .rmd, short for R markdown document. RMDs or R markdowns are different from R scripts in that they help us or enable us rather to combine prose with code. Uh, they can create so many various types of content that the R script can't necessarily do. Um, we can create websites, we can create PDF documents, Word documents, PowerPoint, websites. I've already said that, but websites, um, they're, they're really, really wonderful. And you can see here, it looks a lot different than an R markdown, or sorry, than an R script. This is because an R markdown document enables us to use markdown. Markdown is a type of syntax that um, rather than having to do something like cr press the create list button in um, Google Docs or Microsoft Word, we can use plain text characters to do that formatting for us. Um, and this is super powerful because we can take a document like this and then turn it into something rather different. Uh, with an R Markdown document to render this text into its output, we press the knit button. And you can see it's doing its own execution in a different tab than what we're used to. It's doing it in the R Markdown document. And you'll notice it pops up here in the viewer pane. This isn't going to happen by default. So what I recommend you do is you go over here and click this drop down and press preview in viewer pane. This helps us see the raw, it, uh, the raw code that we're creating here and then the output. So you'll see that we're able to use this markdown syntax to be able to create uh, a rather nicely formatted HTML document. You'll notice that we're using this weird type of uh, syntax, these pound symbols, are actually what create headers. And you'll notice that this is uh, how we create pre-formatted text. So if you want to create an example of code, you'll, back, you'll wrap them in three back text. So this shows us in the code format how you would create it. And this right here is it's um, oops, not wrapped in those back text. So we can see how it actually renders out in the, the fully rendered R markdown format. So this is the HTML document. And you can kind of just see this, that you can add bolding and italics um, using asterisks and underscores. And then same thing with lists. We can create lists, uh, ordered or unordered, and even add images. Uh, this is Bubbles from Trailer Park Boys. And this is probably what your face looks like when you're seeing all this for the first time. But as you work through it and think about it and interrogate it further, it's going to make a lot more sense, I promise. And then um, you can create block quotes, as we see here. Um, this is a quote from Kanye West. I've taken this from the GitHub website. Um, but this is just simple markdown right here. The power of our markdown is that we can combine our code to well, with our, our written word so that we can document our analyses or document other sorts of things. So you'll see this, we have a chart here, um, and that was created right down here. So you can see we have um, some R code, and we can actually, right here we're creating um, this character string called hello class, and you can see it's printed here. And uh, same thing uh, down here, we're hiding it, because we have this argument in this code trunk set to echo equals false. Now, if we either remove it or set it to true and we render it yet again, you'll see that we can actually see the associated code. So in your weekly analyses, I'm really expecting that you'll use uh, our markdown documents, or actually you're required to use our markdown documents um, to illustrate your code and your thinking and, and what you plan on doing. And um, as we kind of get more advanced, you can create fancy tables with pack packages like Cable Extra, Reactable, and GT. Uh, and this is a simple example. So as we work together, you'll get more familiar with this format. And if you like and you don't like this formatting, you can use this visual editor. 
it kind of feels more like a Word document than um, an R Markdown doc document, um, but it might be an easier entrance into this. So say we go all the way to the bottom here, we can begin typing things and we can use our Markdown sy syntax and it'll just render that out normally. So this might be helpful for you uh, as we kind of work through things and I can say one plus one and we can execute it and it shows up here. So this might be an alternative for you um, as you, you work through this and you have much more control over the formatting and, and that kind of stuff as well.